Hello guys, Marcus here again, Pipe Bits and Guns. So, if you saw my earlier video, my little, uh, little setup, I now switched over to uh, my uh, microphone that I bought. And this video will be the first look at my new pipe that I just won at the uh, auction for, I think it was 50 US dollars. It's this one yeah so the history of this is a bit unclear but this is a Peterson 606 s rusticated saddle what do you call a saddle bit stem P lip I love P lips I guess you would, could call this a pot shaped bowl uh, because it's quite not that tall but it's quite wide so it's about 23 to 24 millimeters the bowl diameter and uh, on the auction by just looking at the pictures it was hard to see but it looked really good you know pristine condition for being an estate pipe and uh, it was I got it the only thing I had to do really was to clean out clean the stem and polish the stem a bit and then you know just shaking the the bowl and everything it, it looked like it had been smoked uh, you know a couple of times only so uh, I got a box to it as well and you can see in the picture here It looks like that I have another box that looks similar to that and that pipe was from the late 90s I think it was like from 89 or the 80s I mean the late 80s uh, and this one is probably around the same you know time frame maybe early 90s I don't know mm. But I have not yet been able to find any, you know, I googled it, the, you know, Peterson 600S or 606S, you know, rusticated. All the pipes I can find are either newer ones with like a silver band here that has the same kind of saddle bit or saddle stem. Uh, nothing really like it. So I have emailed Peterson and ask them you know what series of pipe is this because usually there's different series of pipes right so it looks a little bit like a Don Eagle or whatever it's called but I don't think so and uh, you know checking it it's like it's maybe not rusticated it might be just look at that grain it looks like it's um, maybe sandblasted There you go. I uh, just love these stems. They're so comfortable. You know, it smokes great. This is a new, you know, English only pipe for me. And, you know, wide ball, a big burning, you know, surface of the tobacco, slow burner, co cool and uh, or cold. So it doesn't get hot. Just great for Englishes. My, maybe you see I cut my hair as well. Not trim my beard that much, just a bit. But anyways, so I hope uh, Peterson will come back to me with a uh, little information uh, about this pipe, what kind of pipe it is, and from what time frame or era. And uh, let's see. But I think I made a bargain. Uh, you know pipes are not that ex you know that cheap it depends on you know this you know the 
especially for a state pipe it could be good but usually here you know pipes run everything from you know 20 us to a bit over a hundred depending on you know some downhills goes for you know 120 us or or even more like 160 uh, on the auction sites depending on the on the shape of it you know if it's good or not uh, for estate pipes so anyways that's about it smoking some if i didn't say that i told you guys in the earlier video and then previous video smoking some um, Maltese Falcon from GLPs and it's mighty fine so you guys have a nice evening and um, a great week hopefully uh, I will try to so uh, stay safe take care don't do anything stupid and I see you later cheerios